Oh, President Biden is requesting billions of dollars worth of military aid for Israel. This, as humanitarian aid, is now finally making its way into Gaza. Fox 26's Tom Ziska shares the story of a man who grew up in Israel who says the fight is necessary and dangerous. Uh, everybody who uh, in this in this business, uh, in this field, say we knew it's going to come, but we didn't know that it's going to be so brutal and such a such a devastating attack against the uh, civilians. Still, Hanan Yadin admits to shock and dis. Uh, everybody who uh, in this in this business, uh, in this field, say we knew it's going to come, but we didn't know that it's going to be so brutal and such a such a devastating attack against the uh, civilians. Still, Hanan Yadin admits to shock and disbelief when he saw the images of the Hamas attack. As a child and young adult in Israel, he says the anxiety and tension of an unsettled coexistence with the country's neighbors was inescapable. After growing up through three wars and fighting in two, including a few deployments to Gaza, Yadin says the coming battles will be difficult. Gaza 30 years ago, it's not Gaza what it is today. It's much more difficult, much more complex. Uh, the population grew. Um, Hamas uh, established its, uh, its system uh, much better than, than it used to be 30 years ago. In Israel, we must make sure that they have what they need to protect their people today and always. President Biden has requested $14 billion for military assistance to Israel that will support in part the coming battles that will very likely see street-by-street -street fighting in Gaza, in addition to the punishing bombardment of the territory. In the middle will be more civilians caught between the Hamas fighters who started this latest fight and Israeli soldiers who are battling back. Right now, the Israeli uh, security and Israeli IDF needs to focus one thing is the destruction of Hamas ability to cause any more harm to anybody, not just uh, not just Israel. Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.